All right, everybody, I am back from uh, my break. We're going to continue on here in Nokrin, the underground city. And uh, if I remember, there's a couple enemies down here. We could probably snipe since we're a magic build. Couldn't do that in my first run. If we go out here, I think there's a balcony to go down, and I believe that is where uh, we're going to be fighting a boss or semi-boss. And then it leads to where we're, where we're the reason we're here, which is to get the item, the dagger for Ronnie. Look at this. We saw this already. If you remember, it was the, the lake where we fought the giant dragon kin. I don't know what the significance is of these, these petrified bodies, what they're supposed to be. I don't know if it's ever actually explained in the game. trying to use Night Mist on me? That's my spell. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, idiot? Nox bracelets. When are we going to eat? You mean dinner? Dinner is always around 4 p.m., remember? Of course, I'm not eating on stream today. Oh, we got a new save point. That's good. I think it's because there's a boss coming up. If I remember correctly. Loppy's Looms has a nice visual similarity to the messengers in Bloodborne. I agree. A lot of this stuff in this game has has visual ties to Bloodborne, but no lore ties, right? Just visual. You think? Oh yeah, I could level up, huh? Let's put a level in. I think I need all of them actually to level. No boss, but lots of silver tears. Oh, wait. One of the silver tears turns into a giant. Isn't that true? Is that not true? And that's kind of the boss with the giant. All right. Uh, mind again? Should we go for mind again or vigor? Screw it. I guess go for mind again. We're trying to get a big FP pool, right? See, normally you could just skip the silver tears, no? But if you... The problem is... If you skip the silver tears, then the giant kind of lures you into them. I look dashing. You like me in my red hat and, and shirt? That odor? Well, I'm glad to hear that. I would, uh, guys, just so you know, we're in our final hour of the stream. If you were thinking of tipping, I would recommend do it soon. So that way, if we have a chance of hitting that vest goal at 150, we do it now. We can have a poll and everything. Not that, you know, we hit it last minute and there's no chance to ask anyone what they want. And people get upset. I'd rather give you guys the whole shebang of control. So that's the one straight ahead that's going to turn into the giant right there. For sure. That's why it's not moving. the heck should we use against the giant? Probably just Rock Sling. Get him to stagger. Okay. The item's right past this thing. Let's fight it. Let's fight it legit. It's gonna transform into the giant. Is it not? It's not. Oh! Oh! If you kill them from a distance, do they not transform? Oh, wait a minute. See, in the first run, I definitely fought the giant. Maybe the giant's up there then? I swear there's a giant. That comes out of one of them, and he's kind of a pain, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's find out. There's a warp gate. Where the hell does that take you? Shall we get the dagger? It should be right here. Finger Slayer Blade and a Great Ghost Glove War. 
This is the blade that Ronnie will use to kill the two fingers that she's kind of tied to in the plot so that she can be free to basically open the skies and have all the glintstone magic come down and shit like that. Not that I know what the hell any of that means. Uh, <laughs> but it's part of the plot, right? I'm gonna find out. I would like to look at it. The Finger Slayer Blade. Uh, uh, where the fuck did they put it? Where the fuck did they put it? Uh. Oh, it's right here. I missed it. It's probably right here. So it's the hidden treasure of the eternal city of Nokrin. Yep, a blade said to have been born of a corpse. The blood-drenched fetish is proof of the high treason committed by the eternal city and symbolizes its downfall. It cannot be wielded by those without a fate, but is said to be able to harm the greater will and its vassals. The greater will, also known as the fingers. You see? There you go. Thank you, Beaver Bother. I appreciate your nice words. Ronnie says, I look like the male version of Carmen Sandiego. Uh, should I take that as a compliment? I mean, Carmen Sandiego was always known as pretty attractive, right? So is that you're trying to say that I'm pretty attractive? Is that what you're saying? No one ever said Carmen was ugly. So maybe I should be happy. Well, I see nothing. There's nothing behind, right? Nice trolling. Fuck you. Okay. Uh, I guess we use this. See where this goes. Let's find out. Sorry, I've said fuck you to a troll. Oh, right where we started. Beautiful. Because now we can explore this area. We gotta find all of the torches to light in order to fight the second... Uh, ancestral creature, the second deer. Here's one. So let's count. Let's start counting. There's the optional wolf boss up there. He's exactly the same as the wolf from Raya Lucaria, except stronger. Try to avoid it if we can. Summer Spinning Zone 5 is pretty darn good to be finding randomly like that. Here's one here. We gotta start counting. No, no, no. I'm not fighting you, you stupid idiot. I want to fight. This is an optional area there with items in it, but I don't know if I need them for my build. Thanks. He really wants to fight me, huh? So we got three. This gets us to the next part of the dungeon. This is it right here. If we go further, there's actually a point of grace here, I believe. So we probably should go here and activate the point of grace. An extra stone sword key. That's cool. Thank you, Beaver Bother. So hopefully later in life you'll get the, the, the honeymoon you deserve. I, I appreciate you saying that. That's very nice of you. I don't need that item for my build, so I don't need to go to the back. All right, we probably won't bother then. We'll unlock this uh, fast travel over here. And we'll probably go back and grab... We got three of the torches so far. Okay. Alright. The aqueduct facing cliffs. We'll go back to the other fast travel. We already were. Ancestral Woods, and we're gonna go back. We gotta find five more. Is it five more torches? I received a dollar tip. 
uh, from someone who got banned because you said something messed up. And I, I'm not even going to repeat it because you know what you said. You're being stupid. And I'm not even going to repeat it because it's still so messed up. Asshole. Okay. So we're looking for torches. Here's one. This will be number four. What's up, Venom Snake? How are you today? Welcome. Right. This way, I think there's one. I'm pretty sure there's one over here. Yep, here's number five. I'm trying to remember where they all are. There's number Oh my god, he struck me in my ass repeatedly. My ass. Give me the horns. Is that my first de death today? I think it is. Okay. Okay. Ronnie, I actually have no idea what you're talking about, but that has nothing to do with what just happened. What you're saying. So we did six torches. We need two more. Two more torches. Oh, is this guy going to talk about Moog? Lord of Blood, your eminence. I beg you, grant me a seat at the table of the dynasty along with the Mogwin dynasty. Yup, or Moogwin. Oh! <laughs> you piece of shit. How dare you. How dare you attack me from behind. I'll see you tonight. Sounds good. Now you can fight the deer boss? I can? It was only six? I thought it's eight torches. I only touched six. Are you sure that it's only six? I guess you're right. Now, how should I fight this guy? What to use against him, right? What would be good magic? Hmm. Probably once again, he moves around a lot, does he not? So probably either Night Comet or Rock Sling again, right? Oh, you're talking about Carmen San Diego, Ronnie Blaze? Okay, I thought you were talking about the other thing. You said you don't remember what Carmen San Diego looks like? Uh. I remember her from, well, number one, she always was a drawing. And then she was in a show. And then she was in another show. So. The true Regal Ancestor Spirit. Isn't he annoying because he heals? The friggin' he takes so much damage, but at the same time, I'm so weak, that's always gonna be the problem here, is that he hits you like once it's over. So. Try this again. Good thing I had no no risk of losing any souls or anything, right? I'm pretty sure it is not the moose from Northern Exposure. It's ridiculous.
How did I just miss four times? I'm standing right on him. So I remember he heals. He grabs all the souls of all the little spectral deer in the room to heal himself, which is kind of unique. I'm not even aware of many other bosses in the game that heal besides, you know, Melania. So, there you go. At least we took him out. It's also one of the great souls. I don't remember what you get for that soul, though, like what you can make out of it. I can't remember. Okay. Very good. All right, that's done. And now we just go to the next area because I'm not going to go for that other item. So we go to the aqueduct facing cliffs. Yep. The second half of Nokrin. Twenty-four thousand. Sadly, we don't have enough to level. Not even close. We need about forty thousand. So hardest boss for me so far. I'm oh, man. Let's think about that. Was it not? I would say it was uh, the Briar. Elmer of the Briar was a pain in the butt because you're stuck in a room. You can't really maneuver around. And he has giant range and insane damage. So I would say Elmer of the Briar. Yep. Probably the hardest thing in the game for me so far. I'm sure there's going to be other instances of similar stuff now. Things that were very easy for me my first run that now are like super tough. So look where we are. This is where we fought that Dragonkin guy uh, earlier on in the playthrough. He was down there, but now we're above him. Look who it is. Can we snipe this asshole? I'm pretty sure we can, right? He's gonna stand there. Wasted one. Well, this is pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie. At the same time, you're a glass cannon. This is what you're expected to do with magic. You know, you're not gonna fight these guys head up. They're tanks. They don't, these guys don't even stagger, do they? Really? Ronnie says, GameStop just called him about his pre-order for Jedi Survivor. Oh, because you pre-ordered it and you didn't pick it up because it was a piece of garbage. Pretty funny. Now he's not gonna come out. Here we go. He just killed himself. You stupid idiot. He killed himself. And I got his shield. <laughs> what a genius. What a complete genius. Well, he sent me some magic. Can I double check if you double tipped? I can't check that now. I can maybe later look at my PayPal, but I can't look at that now. No. Then someone to me, Dodger, what, are, what do you think? What bosses in Elden Ring do you think are poorly designed? Oh, man. Poorly designed bosses in Elden Ring. That might be a tough question because I think most of the bosses are good, right? Can you guys remember in my first run if there were any particular bosses that I was really upset about? What's going on, Cheerio Eater? It's good to see you, by the way. Hmm. No, you see, that's the thing. See, but where are bosses? What about repeat bosses? Well, do I have an issue with the repeat bosses? Yes, I do, but that's not poorly designed. 
Riker, yeah, you know what? I would say Riker, sadly, was underwhelming. He's a cool-looking boss, but the whole fight is a stupid gimmick, and it's an annoying gimmick, and if you're not ready for it or you don't have the build for it, it's just super annoying stupid. I didn't like Riker at all. I, I would have preferred to have another awesome, cool boss that was in line with the rest of the game, not, oh, here's another gimmick boss like we do in every Souls game, and this one can only be beaten with a spear, and it's annoying. I didn't like it. We're going to fight him, by the way. We're definitely going to fight him. We should maybe go do that, Volcano Manor, soon. Because now my magic is way better. What am I locking on to here? I don't even know what that is. Can you guys tell? Let's see. Order of healing. Oh. Great. Oh, look. Look who it is. Spearman. Oh, shit. He's going to be angry. <laughs> he's going to be pretty upset. Where did he go? He's not coming. He's either doing a really slow walk or he's not coming. He's not coming. Oh my God, he's not coming. He walks slowly away, walks halfway to me. He must have the mind of like a fish he forgets and turns right back around. So Agonidos is probably Astral, that optional skeleton boss with wings. I like that boss. I really enjoyed that boss. This game has so many cool, unique bosses that I really enjoy the special ones like that. But it was a real fight. So, I mean, it was a real fight. It wasn't a fucked up gimmick fight. It was a real fight. Oh, I missed. Couple more shots, this guy's dead. Don't have to fight him head up. Good. I'll take my big rewards. I'm much better now that I have higher magic damage output, but also because I have so much more MP, or FP in this game, that I'm able to do so many more spells. This is excellent. It didn't work. Amazing. All that for nothing. Because it missed. But you, you notice he was about to die. And as I'm releasing the arrow, the game unlocked from him for literally no reason. He was standing right there. He didn't move. And it unlocked. So I missed the final shot that would have killed him. And then he gets around the corner and gets a cheap instant kill. Like, well, that's fair. And the answer is no, it's not. It's ridiculous. But that's this game. The game is full of shit. Full of shit. But I'm not going to complain because... I'm sniping him. <laughs> I'm kind of cheesing him. Well, not kind of. I'm definitely cheesing him, so... I guess I have no right to complain. No second hit. He gets there and he turns around. Because you can see he turns around his spear. He turns around with his spear in his hand. We have, I have a YouTube short from the other uh, the other day I never used. We're going to use that. I keep forgetting to upload it. Um, if I remember correctly, it's a funny YouTube short from Final Fantasy V Pixel Remaster. So that should be coming up soon on the channel. I just got to remember to do it. I keep forgetting. Of course this is cheesing. You're a mage. This is what you do. This is exactly how you're supposed to play the game with this build. 
Yes, there's people who play it more ballsy, but this is exactly what you're supposed to do. Stay ranged, just snipe the fuck out of the tough guys. You're you're a, you're a wimp. You're meant to be a wimp. You play it right. You you take advantage of every every situation that you can take advantage of. If this bow was not meant to be this good, it wouldn't be hitting him from this distance as a sniper. You know what I'm saying? Now, by, by all rights, the next shot should kill him. It probably won't. And then I'm going to get killed again. Watch. Oh, yeah? Rubel says there's even a better version of this. There is? I didn't even know there was a better version of this bow. When do you get it? Like, late in the game when you fight the real Loretta at Halling Tree? <clears throat> mm -mm. Watch. He's not going to die. He absolutely should. He won't die. He's going he's gonna to survive... With an insane tiny bit of health, ready? What the fuck did I say? This game is so full of shit. <laughs> Am I enjoying this playthrough more? Listen, I'm enjoying it. Don't get me wrong. But I think there is something to be said that your first honest playthrough with the, the air of discovery, not knowing what's coming, is just different. This is a very fun playthrough, but it definitely feels a bit different than the first time when I'm, I'm facing things for the, the very first encounter. What the fuck was that? Now I'm getting angry. Are you going to let me kill him or not? It's like they just don't want me to kill him. Oh, goddamn time, man. You're being stupid. Somber Smithing Stone 6. That's very good. Now, I don't know if I actually need that or if I leveled up my stuff past 6. I can't remember. But, uh, cool. Very cool. Now we continue on. And actually, I believe D's twin is coming up in this next area, if I remember correctly. They never saw it coming. Stone five. They never saw it coming. Bum, bum. So much for your shield. There's some items over here. Is there another night? I think there might be one more night before we get to the boss. I can't remember. items are. Golden rune 13. Wow. Huge golden rune. Awesome. 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 Reboot Kid, I'm playing Star Wars on May the 4th because they're patching it tomorrow and supposedly the problems will be fixed. So we're playing it on May the 4th. We're going to continue the playthrough then. I would play it Wednesday, but I'm not here Wednesday. It's my day off. Some golden runes we just got. Sweet. Yeah, I know, fixed in, per in quotes, because they're claiming that it's going to fix the performance issues, but do you really believe it's going to fix them all? Probably not. I'm hoping at least for some kind of frame rate stability, but I guess we'll find out. Guy hiding behind the waterfall here.
We're another rune arc. We got a bunch of these now. Cool. Good, good amount of rune arcs going. I don't remember what the golden centipedes are used for. Crafting something, but I don't remember what. It's also weird you find them here in Nokrin. Like, why are you finding golden centipedes in Nokrin? This isn't... You think you find them in the Imperial Golden City, right? Like, the headquarters of the Golden Order, but... Instead, you find them here. Odd. Smithing Stone 4. A lot of the games like that with lore. Like, I'm sure there's a lore answer for the question I just asked, but... The game would never, like, clearly state it. You gotta figure it out for yourself. I think that's D's twin right there. Okay. Hand over the twin armor set. Yes. <laughs> Inner Order. Inner Order emote. Rugal says you get the better magic bow from the Halig Tree Loretta fight. Alright, so now that we've done that, does he not come in and do something else later? Because we did that. I think he, like, regains his composure. Anyway, it's boss time, and there's no way we're beating them. Probably first run. I wonder what would be the best, effect, most effective thing to use against these guys. This is the dual gargoyle boss. So your goal is to try to rock the first boss quick. So the second one comes out, it's a one-on-one -on -one fight. I don't know what would be the best option for that besides maybe keep using Rock Sling. I guess we'll see. Um, I received a $3 tip from an anonymous tipper. The poor performance of the new Star Wars game is a sign of things to come. Even a lot of newer gaming PCs can't run these games next-gen. And Unreal Engine 5 games, PS5 and Xbox are only 30 frames going forward. I don't believe that. I do believe we're going to see more games performing well. But what's going to happen is it's going to sadly make these other games stick out like a sore thumb. It used to be we didn't really expect top performance from our, our, our consoles and, and stuff. But now we do. Now we've gotten to the point where it's like, no, 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 no. The technology has advanced so much. We, we should be getting the best performance right at launch. And now we want that. And now these games are starting to stand out. And then it's funny because then you get games that run amazingly at launch and they're just going to get emphasized even more how good they are, right? <clears throat> oh, really? Mr. Whisker says you can use him as a summon, but you have to like quit the game out come back and you can summon him here. Well, I don't want to do that. Alright, I think we're going to try to rock sling. No, here it is. There he is. You can summon him right now. See that? I think we're going to try to rock sling the fuck out of the first gargoyle before the second one shows up. I don't know how successful we're going to be. I'm going to try, though. The 3X bow isn't as good as the one you have. The third arrow is broken. It never hits. A shot does the same damage as the one-time shot, but costs more mana. Oh, really? Hmm. All right, we're going to give this a shot. Sucks I can't level. Tried to roll late. I don't know where the poison came from. I have no clue. Does Do they make a cloud of poison when they die? Is that what happened? I think they made a cloud of poison when he died, which I didn't realize. I walked right into it, and I fucked myself. I had absolutely no clue that was going to happen. Damn it. I 
couldn't move because of this. A stupid stalactite piece of shit killed me. All I needed to do was roll to the side. I was all right. The poison cloud usually casts when they're still alive. So he cast it and I didn't realize it. I didn't see any animation for it. Notice he waited for me to heal to do it. I can't, I can't heal. Every time I heal, he counter hits me. I can't, <laughs> every single time I went to heal, when I'm still in the healing animation, he would just walk up and go full screen stab. Three times in a row. Two times in a row, excuse me. Instant kill. That attack is an instant kill. I tried to roll. I tried to roll, but the timing of this game is slightly delayed. So I can't instantly roll. I'm gonna have to do it early and, and learn the timing of that. It's an instant kill if he ever hits me with that dive. No, I did roll. It's just I did it as he was coming down, I pressed roll, but this game has input delay. It's it's built into the combat engine of the game to have input delay. So I did it on time, but the game says, well, on time is wrong. You should have done it early. I didn't do this. I don't know what's going on. I never did this.
Got him. Oh, yeah. Magic build, baby. Gargoyle Greatsword and Gargoyle Twin Blade. Very nice. Okay. So now that you're done with that, I believe you go down the river, correct? You go over here and there's a, a casket. You get in, it takes you to the next area. Cool. Nicely done. So are we done? Was that all of Nokrin? Did we do everything we needed to do? All the important stuff? Go with Mind again? I'll go with Mind again. What sucks is I have 24 freaking thousand. 24 freaking thousand that it's going to go to waste if I die. Oh, maybe not. This would be 5,000, 6, 7, 8. No, this is enough. We can level with all this. Let's level again. Cool. I probably need one more. Red Bandit did a super chat. Says, you're the best content creator out there. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Red Bandit, for the super chat and the nice words. I appreciate that. Get you on the leaderboard here. Very nice of you. Thank you. Ooh, we did all the Nokrin today. Pretty cool. And even did a lot of NPC quests, too. Let's go mind again. Okay. Nutter says, with my luck, every NPC, every uh, enemy in the, in the DLC coming up will be very strong against magic. What's hilarious is people are like, I hope we won't use this build in... Uh, in the DLC. You do realize I can respec. That's the whole point of this game is when you have those larval tiers, you can try whatever you want. We could go back to a melee build. We could do a hybrid build. We could do anything. We'll have that ability. So... Now that we're doing this, we go to the next part. But the question is, can we go back to Ronnie and give her that blade and continue with her quest line too? Like, I'm not sure what to do next because someone said there's two ways to get here. Isn't it true though? If you give Ronnie the blade, she opens up the other one, the rest of the Astal River. I thought that's what it was. I thought she opens up the rest of the Astal River, which is a whole other dungeon. Thank you all. Great audience today. Thank you for helping me with the game. Thank you very much for the support on the stream today. I really appreciate it. And thank you for allowing me to have a good positive stream with all of you on a day when I, I'm having a bad day. So I appreciate that. Okay. So I remember this part. Basically, we have a Halle, or a, a minor Erd tree that's somehow underground here, which is really weird. Um, <clears throat> but there is, a, I believe, there is a avatar, Erd tree avatar there. So we don't have the map for this yet. We need to get it. But um, yeah, I believe there's an Erd tree avatar. You fight. You move on. There's all the ants, the crazy ants. And they drop a ton of runes, so that's very useful. As you move further in, now you got the whole underground city there of Noxtella. You explore that. There's an optional boss fights there. You go up. You fight Fia's summons. You fight the optional dragon. Like, there's a ton down here, right? A ton of shit. Go to Ronnie and give her the blade. We shall do that. Let's open up the fast travel. This is Deep Root. Further in is the casket to Noxtella. Okay. So this is Deep Root. We're not at Noxtella yet. That's next. Okay. Okay. Great Waterfall Crest. Let's go see Ronnie. And give her the blade. That continues her quest line. Lots of progress today. I'm so happy I have a higher mind and so much FP now. So good. Now to do this, I forget, was your last build Strength and Faith? It was... It started as just like a melee build, but then we were using 
the faith-based incantations for some of it, for healing and stuff. And then eventually we changed it, and then we changed it again. Like, I remember at one point we were changing it. I can't remember what it was, but then we changed it to be faith-based so we could use Reichert's blade, his Blasphemous Blade. Um, but then we also had an alternate build using the Moonstone Sword or whatever it's called. The Great Sword. Nathan just gifted a membership and it went to Old King. Congrats, Old King. Thank you so much. And Brosev says, will you have Mexican food for Cinco de Mayo? Uh, probably not, unless my wife makes a Mexican bake at home for us. Uh, I don't think we're going to be eating out anytime soon after uh, eating out all that Indian food on Sunday. Thank you for re-upping ah, your membership, Brosev. It was thee, not Blythe, it seemeth. Even in my slumber, I sense She thought it was Bly. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally, all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. Ah, the Kyrian inverted statue, so we can now do the inverted tower. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our first encounter. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. Mm -hmm. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. Retro Parasite says Redfall reviews will drop tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't really, don't really care. I'm going to play it tomorrow as a mainstream. We'll see for ourselves if we like it or not and judge. So, there you go. What is it? You may what is go. it? Get out of here. I, too, am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path, only I may tread. That's it. She's taken off now. What is it? I too so she leaves, and I think this is where Blyde is is upset because he was supposed to be her like main servant slash bodyguard, but now because you found that dagger for her, that was really the only thing she wanted to make to progress on with her quest line. So he's upset with you now, and then eventually you end up fighting him, correct? Because of it. Okay, so now. Here's what, here's what I'm trying to remember, okay? So she's going to leave. What happens next? First of all, when do we get to go to Rena's Rise? Can we do that now? Because we haven't done that yet. And then, when does the next quest line start? Because I think, like someone said, you could actually go... We don't have to do the deep route now. We can actually go to the next part, I think. If we should choose. Let's see if we can go to Rena's Rise. Wait, maybe I need to sit down to re redo this. Hold on. It says she was gonna leave. Let's confirm if she left. Because there might be an item there if she left. And uh, and then we're gonna go, I think, to Rena's Rise, and that might be how you get to the next part. I'm not sure. to remember ah so now we have a new fast travel point here I think she will show up later if I remember correctly Ronnie's chamber I'm trying to remember where she shows up next I have no recollection because I know eventually what we need to do is we need to go here to this area of the map that you could not access earlier. This is where her at the end of her quest line is, but I don't remember how you get there. I don't remember if you have to do Noxtella or Deep Root or something. I can't remember how to get there. Doll? She's a doll in Noxtella. Oh, you talk to her as a doll in Noxtella. How do you get to Noxtella if you don't do Deep Root? You said there was another way to do it? Is that Ronnie's Rise? Is that what gets you there? Yes, I was right. People are saying yes, that's how you, you can go straight there now if you want. 
or you could beat Deep Root first, and then Deep Root takes you there through the casket. We'll wash up there. Well, that's interesting. There's all these different ways to do stuff in the game. I wonder why. I guess we'll unlock it. We're at the end of our stream, guys. So there's no time to do anything else today. I guess what we'll do is we will unlock Noxtello. When we play again, which should be later this week, we'll see. Uh, we'll have to determine what we want to do next. Because now we have all these options. We have Deep Root. We have Noxtello. We could actually continue to the Imperial City. We have many choices. We could even do Volcano Manor. Many choices. Ah, Rena's Rise is open. Wasn't open earlier. Who the hell's Rena? Has it ever explained who Rena is? Who's Rena? That's wrong. Rena's Rise is the only way to get there. So what happens if you jump into the casket that's in Deep Root? Because I remember there's a casket in Deep Root. Snow Witch hat, Snow Witch robe, Snow Witch skirt. It's the whole Ronnie set, right? And it doesn't really do much. So it says, Once worn by the snowy crone who the young Ronnie encountered deep in the woods, she was a witch and well-versed in cold sorcery. It said that the doll that houses Ronnie's soul was modeled after her, and it was secret her secret mentor. So basically, it's Ronnie's mentor, Rena. But you never meet Rena, huh? The Deep Root Casket is to skip to Noxtella if you didn't do Ronnie's quest line. Exactly. So you can go to Noxtella if you do the uh, without the Ronnie quest line. It's a different way to do it. I think that's how I did it the first time. I don't I'm pretty sure I didn't do do this part. I did it later. People explained it and I went and did it. I was like, oh, I'm already there. I already did the whole thing. <clears throat> uh Rugal, I'll be seeing you later. Cool. Enjoy your dinner. Ronnie, uh, yeah, I'm saying Ronnie, R-A-N-N-I. Ronnie, R-O-N-N-N-I-E in chat says, I keep thinking you're saying my name. Sorry about that. No, I'm not saying your name, Ronnie. Sorry about that, man. Miniature Ronnie. And I think you talked to her at the bonfire, correct? So this casket is supposedly how you get there, how you get here if you did Deep Root. You would have shown up here. Okay. I hope Ob Oblivion is good tonight. We unlocked a ton of quests last time we played it, but I don't know what the quests are or if it's any good. Everyone says Shivering Isles is great, so I guess we'll we'll find out tonight. So this is Ainsel River Rain. This is the other Ainsel River, and this this leads to Noxtella. You have to do the Ainsel River first, right? And then you end up in Noxtella. Talk to Miniature Ronnie. Oh, a dogged fellow, aren't we? <laughs> or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guy. Nah. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Now why is she so pissed? You've been helping her the whole time. Why is she upset with you now? What happened? Perform for me. Eliminate the name of Rani. She says that the, the, the name was... Like besmirched. Are they trying to say that the Ronnie in the in the doll that you know from earlier is not the real Ronnie, and this is the real Ronnie? But then why? I I don't know. This is confusing to me. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Let's save up, and next time we have a lot of options. We basically I see we have four options. Okay, Imperial City, Volcano Manor, Deep Root Depths, or Ansel River, which turns into Noxtella. So I would say those are our four options, and they're all perfectly fine, right? They're all perfectly good. So, I guess we'll see what we do next time. But guys, again, thank you. You guys are a great audience. You guys supported a ton today. And uh, we got so much done. And I really, really appreciate that. Thank you all for being great. And uh, you might say, well, when ne when's the next time we're playing? Honestly, probably at the earliest Friday. But I don't know exactly if that's true. Depends on how other stuff goes with the other games we're playing this week. But uh, remember, this, is, this has been fun. But this is the game that we're kind of playing between new releases. So... Uh, I guess we'll see. Come. 
how this week goes and go from there. But I'm, I'm excited because we're doing well. And I cannot wait for more. All right, so guys, thank you so much. Until next time.